Hello, this is my third video on the solo growth model. In this model, we're going to add population growth or labor force growth to see how that affects the steady state equilibrium. So, a new variable for us is going to be n, which is just going to equal the labor force growth rate. And this brings in this concept of dilution. Dilution is the idea that as the labor force grows, there's going to be less capital to go around for each worker. We're going to be spreading the capital stock among a greater number of workers, so each worker will have less capital to work with. So dilution will simply equal the labor force growth rate times K, the capital labor ratio. Well, the change in capital will equal I, investment per worker, minus depreciation, minus dilution. The key thing is in the equilibrium, steady state, the change in capital will equal zero. Therefore, we can write this condition. Solving for I, And then factoring out a K term, we're left with this key result. One final thing we're going to do here is we recognize that investment spending per worker, or investment per worker, equals the national saving times Y GDP per worker. So just substituting in for I, we can write this result right here. So with this key result, we can start doing a problem. Let's, so, let's say that the production function for an economy is given as follows. GDP per worker equals capital per worker raised to the one-third power. The depreciation rate is 10%. The saving rate is 24%, 0.24. And the growth rate in the labor force is 2%, 0.02. So let's first find the steady state capital labor ratio. Find the steady state capital labor ratio, which is just K. So I'll just write K there. Well, we're going to appeal to this equation down here, and we're going to substitute everything we know into this equation. I'll just rewrite it here. So S is 0.24. Y is K to the one-third. And that all equals D, which is 0.1 the labor force, gro labor force growth rate, which is 0 0.02 times K. We're going to solve this for K, and we have the steady state equilibrium capital labor ratio. Dividing through by 0 0.12. And let's see, uh, dividing through by k to the one third. And I need a little bit more room. Okay, the next thing we have to do is get rid of this two thirds by raising both sides to the three halves power. So K equals 2 raised to the 3 halves power, 1.5. And that's going to equal roughly 2.83. So that is our steady state capital labor ratio, 2.83. To get the steady state output, or steady state GDP per worker,
just plug k into the production function. Remember we started this problem off with a production function of y equals k to the one-third. What is k? 2.83. And we get our result here of 1.41. A few other things that we could get. We could get the steady state level of investment. So the steady state level of investment. We can use this equation to help us. So in the steady state, in, uh, investment per worker is going to be S, which is 0.24. times y, which is 1.41, and that will give us a result of 0.3. So that's the level of investment per worker. Okay, And we could get consumption per worker. by using this equation, which I illustrated in another video, showed you how to solve that. So S is 0.24, Y is 1.41. Simplifying that up, we get 1.07 for consumption per worker. And that's it. I hope you found this beneficial.